Hi there. In this video, we will learn about the structural and reduced form equations. These are the two forms of equations that are extensively used in our economic analysis. Let's consider an example to exemplify this. We have uh, uh, this equation which is showing the national income in two sector economy and then the consumption function. We know about what Y stands for and C and capital I stands for. A and V are the parameters. So these are a few equations that are structural equations because they define the structure of the variables in the economy that is the national income, consumption and investment uh, is autonomous in this case. It can also be induced that is another possibility but here the simple case is considered where the investment is considered to be autonomous. Now these are the parameters A and B, these are the structural parameters and uh, what we can do is we can use these two um, equations that is equation 1 and 2, these are the structural equations in order to get the reduced form equations. For that we can easily substitute this value C here and this will give us this equation. Um, here clearly this is the value of uh, C. And this is I bar which is as it was before. Now we can easily rearrange to get the value of Y that will be known as Y asterisk. And you can pause the video and see these steps. And now we have uh, written the answer in a way where I is separated with the constant from the constant term. And this becomes the reduced form equation where we can see that value of y which is the endogenous variable is in terms of the exogenous variable and parameters a and b they are there. So you see that uh, i was exogenous given from outside the system and y can be determined from within the system. So this is the exogenous endogenous variable. So this is a reduced form equation where the endogenous variable is written in terms of the exogenous variable. Now we can also find the other endogenous variable that is capital C. For that simply I can put uh, Y asterisk in this equation. So you can see that C asterisk can be found by replacing Y with Y asterisk. And we know that the y uh, status is equal to this, which we can put here. You can see the value substituted. Simplification is very easy. You can do it. And we will get the um, equilibrium level of cost of consumption. And this has the exogenous variable of i bar. So this is uh, a reduced form equation because an endogenous variable is represented in terms of an exogenous variable. Now the numerical results uh, can also be had if we have some numerical values and here we are assuming that i bar is equal to 100 and uh, small a is equal to 500 and then b is equal to 0.8. So putting all these values we get this uh, answer here which is y asterisk is equal to 300. So this is the um, equilibrium level of national income which is found by using the reduced form equation and in the same way the reduced form equation for C asterisk can be used in order to get the equilibrium level of uh, consumption and it is uh, found here 2900 so this is how the reduced form equation is used to find the equilibrium values and behind it are the structural equations that help us to develop the reduced form equations. Thank you.